Hey everyone, my name is Wedge and welcome to day two of Eldritch Moon preview season. We've already seen some outrageous things. Sideways, backwards cards, a double angel tentacle smoothie, super disgusting, and a lot more. Today, even more crazy goodness for you including some tribal support for a tribe I did not expect. Leave it to Delver, am I right? Without further ado, let's get right into it. If you enjoy these preview videos and want more of them, be sure to hit that like button. Helps out a lot. Grizzled Angler is a grumpy 3-mana for a 2-3 human. You can tap it to put the top 2 cards of your library into your graveyard. Then, if there is a colorless creature in your graveyard, transform it into Grizzly Anglerfish. A 4-5 Eldrazi fish. Never thought I'd say that. You can pay 6 of anything and creatures your opponents control attack this turn if able. Eldrazi fish. Eldrazi fish. I just, I don't see it. Eldrazi fish. I, I can't. Sorry, I can't do it. Lone Rider is 2 mana for a 1-1 Human Knight with First Strike and Lifelink. At the beginning of the end step, if you gain 3 or more life this turn, transform it into It That Rides as 1. A 4-4 Eldrazi Horror with First Strike, Trample, and Lifelink. First things first, that flavor text is awesome. Horse and Rider are often of one mind. That makes sense, the backside, but until this morning I'd never seen them be of one body. <laughs> Oh man, this set's disgusting. Anyways, this card is way better than you might think. It transforms on any end step, so not just yours. Let's play a game. How many fun ways can we flip the rider? Ojitai's command just does it. Blessed Alliance does it. Playing it in Soul Sisters in Modern, it'll just happen accidentally. As has been pointed out before, Lone Rider plus Griff's Boon into a spell like Thalia's Lieutenant does it. My point is there are a million ways to flip this thing. A 4-4 with 3 relevant abilities is nothing to scoff at. This card is legitimately good. The white intro pack rare is Sanctifier of Souls, 4 mana for a 2-3 human cleric. Whenever another creature enters the battlefield under your control, the Sanctifier gets plus 1 plus 1 until end of turn. You can pay 3 mana and exile a creature card from your graveyard to put a 1-1 white spirit token with flying onto the battlefield. I like how small it is. I'm done with all the super gigantic intro pack rares. This is much more playable and limited. It isn't great, but the stats are okay, and it does give you extra value from your graveyard. Reminds me of Moreland Haunt, but much worse. Thalia Heretic Cathar is 3 mana for a 3-2 legendary creature human soldier with first strike. Creatures and non-basic lands your opponents control enter the battlefield tapped. Uh, wow. Thalia is beyond insane in multiple formats. In Limited, you're effectively half-time-walking opponents on their creature drops. The amount of tempo you gain from being able to attack a turn before they can block with the creature they just played? Ridiculous. Beyond that, in Standard, Human Decks, you're stopping Control lists from utilizing their Pain Lands immediately. You're stopping Secure the Ways from Surprise blocking you. You're stopping basically everything that you don't like. In modern, everything is non-basic. This is like a fair back to basics, kind of. Thalia's fantastic. Don't even get me started on Commander. I just, wow, that format is going to be ugly. Holy crap, Thalia's amazing. Thalia's Lancers is three of anything and two white for a 4-4 human knight with first strike. When it enters the battlefield, you may search your library for a legendary card, reveal it, and put it into your hand. Now, this is a commander rare I can get behind. Not only is it a bomb in draft, a 4-4 first striker for 5 is great, but in commander, so good. Note that it can get a legendary card, not just creature. So you can get the Theros weapons, Nykthos, Gaia's Cradle, you have so many options. Just stick this in a Captain Sisse commander deck and enjoy, it's all about that redundancy. First we had Delver of Secrets, then we had Insectile Aberration, then we had Aberrant Researcher, then we had Perfected Form. You'd think we'd be done there, right? Nope. Docent of Perfection is 3 of anything and 2 blue for a 5-4 Insect Horror with Flying. Whenever you cast an instant or a sorcery spell, put a 1-1 blue human wizard token onto the battlefield. Then if you control 3 or more wizards, transform it into Final Iteration a 6-5 Eldrazi Insect with Flying. Wizards you control get plus 2, plus 1, and half flying. Whenever you cast an instant or sorcery spell, put a 1-1 Human Wizard token onto the battlefield. Okay, okay, so Docent of Perfection creates little Delver of Secrets, little 1-1 Human Wizards. Then Final Iteration creates flipped Delvers. They become 3-2s with flying. How hilarious is that? It comes full circle. The cycle continues. Also, Wizard Support. 
Did not expect this, but I'm cool with it. A zombie players are sure as heck gonna be happy. Wow, what a sweet card. Nibbles of Frost is two of anything and two blue for a 3-3 spirit with flying and prowess. Whenever you cast an instant or a sorcery spell, tap target creature and opponent controls. That creature doesn't untap during its controller's next untap step. I don't know about you, but I can't look at this card and think of anything else besides Dungeon Geist. It's like the fixed Dungeon Geist, assuming the Geist needed fixing. It's sweet art though, nice intro pack rare. Next up, we have a couple of amazing throwbacks to times of old. Take Inventory and Galvanic Bombardment. Take Inventory draws you a card, then you draw cards equal to the number of cards named Take Inventory in your graveyard. Galvanic Bombardment, the damage version of that. It deals X damage to target creature, where X is 2 plus the number of cards named Galvanic Bombardment in your graveyard. This brings me all the way back to Accumulated Knowledge, which is easily one of the best common draw spells ever. Love this card to death. While Take Inventory isn't nearly as good because it isn't an instant, the card gets way better in multiples and it is just a common. So when you're drafting, if you can get like 3 to 4 of these, maybe it's worth it. Get even more than that? Go nuts! You end up drawing like 4 cards for 2 mana of value. Of course, Galvanic Bombardment is good in its own right. 1 mana at instant speed for 2 damage on a creature? I'd play that even if I only had the one copy. More of them, you just get to destroy bigger creatures. It's all upside to this card. That's the difference between the Bombardment and the Inventory. Inventory needs copies in the graveyard to be good, Bombardment doesn't. Just a thought. Unsubstantiate is 2 mana for an instant. Return target spell or creature to its owner's hand. Uh, sure, alright. There's a lot of discussion around this card. Let's go piece by piece. First off, this is not Remand. It isn't. Remand is a stupidly powerful card. Stop comparing it to Remand. Your argument is already invalid. Just stop it. Okay. Next, it allows you to bounce a creature or bounce a spell. That's flexibility I can get behind. It gets around things being uncounterable, at least for a turn. It takes advantage of players going hand with Escalade. It can return a huge creature or a melded creature. This is like the anti-Eldritch Moon Mechanics card. I think it's great. I think it's more powerful than players are giving it credit for. I don't think it's the best card in the set or anything, but it sure as heck isn't crap. Newsgraph Mob is 4 of anything and 2 black for a 0-0 zombie that enters the battlefield with 5 plus 1 plus 1 counters on it. Whenever a player casts a spell, remove a plus 1 plus 1 counter from the mob. If you do, put a 2-2 black zombie token onto the battlefield. Black intro pack rare, I like the design around it honestly. It turns into at least 5 2-2s if nothing happens to it. You could always add counters for more value. Maybe put it in something like Mazarek that cares about counters, it seems interesting. Assembled Alphas is 6 mana for a 5-5 wolf. Whenever it blocks or becomes blocked by a creature, it deals 3 damage to that creature and 3 damage to that creature's controller. Wow, this card is a limited bomb for days. Without straight removal, this is going to lightning bolt everything in the world. All it's missing is a combat mechanic to be really stupid. Even without that, it'll at least trade with most of the big stuff. It can take down 8 toughness creatures all by itself. That's impressive. Cool intro pack rare. Influence of Emrakul is 2 of anything and 2 green for an enchantment. Whenever you cast an Eldrazi creature spell with converted mana cost 7 or higher, draw 2 cards. Rough translation, but you get it. This is a very cool card with the new emerge mechanic. While the mana cost could end up being cheaper, the converted mana cost remains the same. It's neat synergy. Other than that, seems alright. Glad it's an uncommon and not a rare. Olvenwald Observer is 4 of anything and 2 green for a 6-6 tree folk. Whenever a creature you control with toughness 4 or greater dies, draw a card. And Doran. Doran for days. Doran for always. Doran. This goes in Doran. An intra pack rare with an obvious purpose. I like it. Looks like that's going to do it. What do you think about today's preview cards? After yesterday, I did not expect anything nearly as crazy, but there are definitely some playable cards out of today's spoilers. Let me know what you think about everything shown. You like what you see? Do you like the effect the Eldrazi are having on Innistrad? Give me your thoughts. Gotta know what you're thinking. As always, subscribe for the latest and most reliable Eldritch Moon spoiler information you can ever need. This is the Manosource. I'm Wedge. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. This video is brought to you in part by TCGPlayer.com. Eldritch Moon preview season has just begun, but we're already in full swing, and this is the perfect time to grab some standard staples while no one's paying attention. Did you know Sylvan Advocate's only $5 right now? Seriously, it's 5 bucks. You can get it right now. It's like the second most played card in standard. You do not want to miss this opportunity. Grab it while you can. 
already have yours, Smart. Othanissa, another card you really should get if you need it, only $2.50. You can't beat these prices for legit standard powerhouse staples, just trust me. Click some links, buy some cheapness, win-win for everyone.